One classic example where uh, pharmacogenetic testing is already integrated into clinical practice is TPMT, which has been around for several decades. So in gastroenterology, uh, we do use thiopurines, azathioprine and 6-MP, to treat patients with inflammatory bowel diseases. And uh, pharmacogenetic testing, whether it's genetic testing or functional testing of the enzyme, can identify patients who are at high risk for myelosuppression when they go on those medications. And that can lead to completely different treatment choices or, at a minimum, dosing choices. That's been around for a couple of decades, but more and more this is coming into our practice. Another example is um, CYP2C19, which is involved in the metabolism of many proton pump inhibitors. And we're beginning to use that in currently mostly a reactive way for patients who are refractory to therapy for their reflux.